According to civil society organizations, 2019 election remains one of the most keenly contested elections with over 90 political parties and over 70 presidential candidates. But more importantly, they demand the inclusion of young people in the polity. With Nigeria's growing youth population, think tanks and NGOs believe that their participation will deepen and sustain democracy in the nation. The participation of youth in the electoral process will enable them to effectively enforce the um, effective will enable them to effectively enforce their civic rights only when their political aspirations are firmly protected in the constitution. The Not Young to Run initiative and legislation is truly a landmark development in that regard. Its gains must be consolidated and sustained in 2019 and in subsequent elections in Nigeria. Now, while the Not Young to Run inspired a new wave of youth political inclusion, and we can see that with the increase in number of aspirants who also translated to the increase in number of youth candidates, we still observe that there are still major challenges beyond the legal framework for elections that we must address to increase youth political inclusion. In 2015, the number of young female candidates was below 20%. Youth candidacy increased from 18% in the 2015 House of Representatives elections to 27.4% in the 2019 House of Representatives elections. The Northwest has the highest number of youth candidates for the House of Representatives and Senate elections. In all, 1,515 youth candidates, representing 23% of all candidates, contested for seats in the National Assembly. Nigeria has conducted five general elections since the return to civil rule. These elections have been noted for the low levels of youth participation. Civil society organizations have observed that the participation of youths in the electoral process will enable them to effectively enforce their civic rights when their political aspirations are firmly protected in the constitution. Nigerian youth within the age group of 18 to 35 years have the highest population of voters, constituting over 51% of all registered voters, while 26.6% of voters are students. Young people are the engine of our society today, increasingly participating in every sphere of society, in religious organizations and other forms of community leadership. We need to look no further than at the development occurring in the technology and innovation sectors. The project has been always aimed at providing strategic support to young men and women who are running for office uh, in the 2019 general elections. It bears repetition to say that uh, the exclusion of young men and women um, in democratic governments generally and elective office more specifically would definitely deprive the Nigerian society of what these young people can bring to the table. Now, dominant political parties in Nigeria have been called upon by civil society organizations to include youths and women in politics to bring about internal democracy and equal representation. In Abuja, Oluwatobi Eneto, reporting for Roots TV, Nigeria.